All right, I'm outside today. I'm at my mom's house and uh, working on her mower today. This is a uh, like a mid '90s Ferris rear rear steer, uh, 61 inch deck. It's, the, it's a nice mower. Uh, my brother and I picked this up from my mom earlier in this uh, spring. Not very expensive. It was kind of it was fairly cheap, but uh, man, this thing mows. It's awesome. We got five acres here, and I can mow this in just a, a little under two hours with this. Uh, but since we got it, we've had a problem with it not charging the the battery, and you know it's not putting juice back into the system. It doesn't it doesn't go dead just sitting here. But what happens is uh, as you're you're running it, you know you got you got two cylinders worth of electric going on. It's a, a big electric PTO and stuff. So as you're using it, it uses up uh, juice, and eventually it dies off. You know the the PTO won't stay engaged and whatnot. So I'm going to tear into this motor. I think it's a stator. We put a new uh, oh rectifier or regulator, whatever you call that little piece there. We put a new one of them on because it was easy just to see maybe that fixed it, but it didn't. So I'm going to take this screen off, get it on the top of the motor, and uh, get it this flywheel. I'm going to have to pull that off. But I got you know my own meter and stuff. I'm going to test this out and just to see if that's putting out juice or, or not. But as you can see, I had good juice coming out of the battery, and uh, I had a good spark. So that tells me that there's something going on with the stator. This is the plug it comes right out, comes right from the stator, and I don't get juice on any of these wires here. So I'm pretty sure the problem's with the stator. I'm going to pop this flywheel off and see what it looks like. Maybe I can clean it up and, and uh, get it to work. But I may just need to get a new one. And I'll show you what I got here. I got the flywheel off, and it honestly looks uh, looks real good. It's got you know it's got some grass and shit up in here, but uh, the magnets all look good. There's no no cracks or chips. They're all solid. None of them are loose. They, they all have, they've all got a good uh, strong magnetic pull, I guess, to them. Um, over here, the mat, uh, the stator it's pretty dirty. You see the face of. Uh, this this area, these ones, these are really dirty. Uh, it's got a lot of grime buildup right here, but I, you know this doesn't bother me too much. This tractor is in the ballpark of 20, 25 years old. I'm sure that this has never been taken apart. So, you know, I'm not seeing anything alarming under here. But the stator looks like it's in good shape. I don't see any cracks or, or nothing, you know, scary. But it is pretty dirty, so I'm going to pull it off. Uh, I'm going to clean all of this. I'm going to clean this. I'll probably get some sandpaper and maybe uh, some WD-40 and just polish up the ends here. Uh, and who knows, that, that might get it to come back to life. It might just be all shitted up here and, and not working right. So, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to clean this all up. I'll put it back together and uh, see if we can get this to work. So I got the stators all cleaned up real nice. Got all the, the crap out from in between it and stuff. And the, the surface here, I used a little sandpaper and WD-40 to polish them up. But I cleaned up the whole top of the motor. Now I wasn't sure, this is where the stator goes, and I wasn't sure if this is supposed to have like a grounded contact or not. But it was it was a bit rusty here and around the edge. And same thing with the stator was rusty there. So I cleaned that all up as best I could. I said I don't know if it's a grounded connection or not but it's clean now so that's all clean and then the flywheel same thing cleaned it all out hosed it all out with WD-40 and this is a whole pile of shit that came out of the flywheel I didn't realize how deep this was in here but it was all packed full so the way this stuff looks I won't be surprised if it works when I put it back together but unfortunately that's the only way to find out is put it all back together so I'm gonna do that and test it out
Alright, so I just want to show you what we got. Yesterday I put this all back together and uh, I mowed all of this, everything, in one shot. I mowed it all. Um, and then I, I parked it and just let the thing set overnight. And I came back uh, today after work to check it out. And we got, we're reading 12.1 volts on the battery, which is uh, it's good. It's a 12 volt battery, so, you know, how can you argue with that? Um, yesterday, when I was at testing this out at full throttle, uh, right here on this uh, regulator, or rectifier, whatever it is, I was getting about 11, 11.8, 11.9 volts at full throttle, which I think might be uh, not quite up to par. I, I don't know for sure, but I, I feel like it should be maybe somewhere around 13 volts, but uh, I could be wrong. But in any case, it is working now, and uh, it's working good enough anyway. So I'm just going to leave it go. If I have any problems with it in the future, I'm just, I'll just go ahead and change the stator. Uh, but it seems to be working. It seems to be doing its job. It has a, a good charge on the battery. I just had it running. Uh, before, I could charge this battery for hours, and I'd just go and mow this lawn, and it would be dead. Next time you try to mow it, it, it wouldn't even start. So we got 12 volts in the battery. Yeah, it seems to be working good. Thanks for watching.